All right, guys, so as requested, we are going to do a quick video going over the carpal bones. There are eight carpal bones. Carpal refers to the wrist. So we're talking about the eight little boxy bones that are located in the wrist. A lot of people have trouble keeping track of the names of these. So um, for me, at least, this thing was really helpful. Um, <clears throat> there are four bones at the proximal side, four carpal bones, um, but closest to the arm, the proximal side, and then there are four carpal bones at the distal side, closest to the fingers. So if we use this saying, we're starting here on the thumb side. I've labeled these. This is the thumb side of the hand, right? This is the pinky side of the hand. So we're starting at the, um, the proximal, okay, so closest to the body or, or closer to the arm, the proximal side here on the thumb side and we head over towards the pinky. Then we're gonna go to um, just kind of count our way around in, our cir in a circle as we head back towards the thumb. So we start the thumb, we're gonna work our way over to the pinky, and then we're gonna work our way back to the thumb. And the saying helps you with that. So long to pinky, we're ending at the pinky, and then we're gonna go, here comes the thumb. We end at the thumb again. Okay, so the first letter for each, S for scaphoid, L for lunate, T for triquetrum, P for pisiform. Okay, so let's do those. The, the proximal row, the first row, scaphoid. So this is on the thumb side. This is kind of a large one. This articulates with the, um, the radius. So scaphoid, then lunate. The second one is lunate triquetrum so what you're seeing right here like what you're looking at is the triquetrum pisiform is actually underneath it it's on like the palm side of the hand so if i flip this a little bit this one that's sticking out underneath is the pisiform okay so pisiform on the pinky side match up your peas pisiform is on the pinky side but it's kind of underneath like on the palm okay you can actually feel that Right, like if you go on the pinky side of your hand, not the sides of your wrist, right? Those are the, the radius and ulna. But if you go on the palm side and feel this, this bone sticking out, that's the piece of form. So scaphoid, lunate, triquetrum, underneath that, piece of form. Then we're just gonna move up, right? Closer to the pinky, because we're at the pinky now, right? So long to pinky, and we're gonna start with here comes the thumb. H for hamate, so this bone right here that's closest to the pinky is hamate, and then C for capitate, capitate's pretty big, sorry, let me make sure I'm pointing to it, capitate is, is pretty big right here, so hamate, capitate, then trapezoid and trapezium, so trapezoid, trapezium, and notice we ended up right back at the thumb, right, D for thumb. Here comes the thumb, hamate, capitate, trapezoid, trapezium. Okay, trapezium, thumb kind of goes together, okay? Like piece of form and pinky. So, so long to pinky, here comes the thumb. Scaphoid, lunate, triquetrum on the back, palm side is piece of form. Then just move up the pinky, hamate, capitate, trapezoid, trapezium. Now there are two um, like special features of the bones that people typically need to know, the scaphoid tubercle and the hook of the hamate. These are actually both on the palm side. So I've been showing you the dorsal side of the wrist, right, the back of the wrist here. But if you flip it around, right to the side where you can see the piece of form sticking out, then we actually have the scaphoid tubercle and the hook of the hamate. So scaphoid tubercle first remembers on the scaphoid bone, this, you find the thumb, right? And the, on the thumb side, the first row, this is the um, scaphoid bone. And sticking out at the end of the scaphoid bone right here, sorry, right here, the very end of the scaphoid bone, you can see the um, scaphoid tubercle. It's just like this part of the scaphoid bone right here. The end of the scaphoid bone sticks out a little bit. That's the scaphoid tubercle. The hook of the hamate is literally a hook 
that sticks off the hamate. It's really obvious. Um, remember that the hamate is the one that's right next to the pinky. So like this is our pinky here. We're looking at the palm side of the pinky. So you can see the pisiform sticking out and then just above the pisiform or just closer like to the pinky is the hook of the hamate. So this carpal bone that's closest to the pinky, that's the hamate. If you flip it over to look at the palm side, the little hook that sticks out, that's the hook of the hamate. Um, the ulnar nerve comes and like passes through that hook of the hamate. You can feel that too. Um, if you look at the palm side of your hand on the pinky side, this bulge that sticks out really far right here, that's the piece of form. And if you just go up and in a little bit from there, like mine is right here, I'm palpating the hook of the hamate. You kind of have to push hard. And actually, when you push hard there, you might feel a little bit of pain because remember the ulnar nerve is right there. That is it for the carpal bones. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.